4K fam, what's good? It's your boy 4K D Ray coming with a brand new video. You guys, y'all already know what it is, man. It's Tuesday, Blues Day, aka 4K Tuesday, where we pick up the hottest new release that hit the shelves. Y'all already know what it is, man. Scarface 4K is coming. Y'all see the t shirt, courtesy of EffectiveClothing.com. Inspiration is in the air, Tony Montana. Y'all already know I gotta do a video for the day. Um, nonetheless, y'all know what it is, man. We headed to Best Buy to go pick it up. Um, we got a package to go send off to the big homie, man. Y'all know I'm about the steals and deals. Came across this nice little North Carolina Jordan jersey. Typically $150. Got it for $35. So you can't beat it. So I got to send this off to the homie uh, Wavy 80, man. It's coming to you. I get you that tracking number as soon as I get it off. We got to get some food. Um, hopefully you guys have been watching my last few videos. The podcast has been going down, man. I've been having a good time with that. Um, hopefully we'll probably get one of those up today as well, but I know y'all don't want all this. Y'all ready for me to hit those shelves, so let's go. Man, I wasn't really expecting this rainy day. No, I shouldn't be driving and, and camming in the rain, but anyway, some other releases to come out this week is Stuber. That actually comes out on 4K as well. Um, another pickup I'd actually want to see is Crawl. Heard that was really good, but I ain't with the Blu-rays. And we got Hellboy 4K, which they're saying is a really, really good transfer. So, I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to pick it up, though. But Scarface is going to be my only pickup. You guys, I, I know I was predicting that that uh, collector set is going to go down. Has not went down yet, but the week is still here. We're in the middle of the week. Today is Wednesday. So, we'll see. It depends on how many each store got. If each store got quite a few of them, I can still see it dropping down to at least, like, I'm gonna say 49 by the weekend. That's my prediction. And if y'all watch my podcast, your boy is good with predictions. You can call me 4K Veli if you want to. If you don't know what I mean when I said that, just go back and watch the podcast when I did, uh, when we was watching SmackDown, I told you guys exactly what they should do with Bailey, and it happened. So go back and watch it. All right, you guys, so we in here, so we gotta hit the racks first, see what else is on sale, just in case there's something we overlooked. Batmans are still on sale. Shout out to somebody who tried to let me know, hey, the first two are still on sale. We know you got the other ones, but um, yeah, I've known that for a little while now. It's been like three weeks that they've been on sale, and I still ain't picked it up, so I don't know when I'm gonna pick them up. Here goes y'all, the Hellboy releases. Um, I don't know how these turned out, but I heard this was absolutely garbage. Can't remember what the review said on that one. Definitely still got to pick up this Karate Kid. 1999, no slip. Nah, we'll wait. I think that's going to be a Black Friday special somewhere. Really digging this steel book. This is really nice with the white. I wouldn't mind seeing more uh, white cased um, 4K disc. It ain't always got to be black. We know black is best, but, you know, I'm digging this one. 52, that's way too much. Still never understand why they keep these savings uh, signs when these prices have been the same for about the past, since the summer. Uh, real question, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section. What did y'all think about this 4K transfer? Because I really wasn't that wild. Of course, the audio quality came out very, very good. But for me, the picture quality, it wasn't all that. Not what I was expecting. So y'all sound off in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on it if you picked it up. Definitely waiting on the price drop for this. This is a really nice steel book. I love that red on top of that black. Looks like neon lights glowing, so that's a pretty nice touch. But unfortunately, this transfer was complete trash. So we'll definitely wait on the price drop on that. And here goes a sad attempt for a two, two for 30. I mean, the titles aren't bad, but come on now. Three, six, nine movies. We can do better than that right now in Best Buy. All right, guys, so um, right now I'm not seeing that uh, collector's edition here in my store. Y'all let me know if the Scarface 4K collector's edition is still in your store. So I don't know, you know, if it ain't sitting around then that price ain't going to drop. Supply and demand. That's how it works. Wow, what is this? Hmm. I mean, the director did a lot of good films, but sometimes that don't mean nothing. $12.99. Might have to look for a trailer for that or something. Okay, never mind. Here goes one, you guys. This thing's heavy. One thing I was concerned with is, is this, uh, this world is yours. Is this thing, is it, is it like plastic? I wonder what it's made of. Is it die cast? Will the paint start chipping off? I need to look at a unboxing for it. 
I would love to have it, but I need that price drop. And I am still seeing a ton of like Marvel movies, man. Like they got so many copies of like Avengers Endgame and the still books that just released. Like it's ridiculous. I'm starting to see a lot of directors and producers talking junk about uh comic book films saying it's ruining Hollywood. I mean, I wouldn't say that. It's just, you know, that's that's the wave. That's what everybody cares about right now. So it's not ruining it. I mean, come up with some more original stuff. Like how many times can we reboot, remake certain things? Or just come out with complete trash that nobody wants to see. Some of the, a lot of this stuff we haven't seen. Like we ain't seen no film go what 22 movies long to a culmination. So it's something different, and people are loving it because it's just pure entertainment. See what I'm saying? They still sitting on a lot of these. I mean, 150 was just way too much. I seen some people saying they just want the case to put their other movies in. So I mean, that's a dope idea if somebody just wants to sell the case. You got too many of those. You only got one of these Batman joints. I mean, just nothing special about these. So, like, why would it be worth my money just to get this uh, case? What is this? I don't know if you guys been hearing the news as well, but supposedly there's a Thundercats film that has been, it's being secretly produced right now. Um, they've got the lineup. I believe they say Ryan Reynolds is supposed to be in it. I just don't really see him as lying, though. But, you know, we've heard it before that there was supposed to be a live action Thundercats movie coming out. But Michael Bay, I believe, is supposed to direct this one. And it's been under wraps for quite some time. So we'll see how this pans out in the near future. But, I mean, I'm hoping so if they can do it some justice and do it the right way. Matter of fact, I would love to have this. I don't know about 1999, though. All right, so here goes the Hellboy steel book and slip cover. I actually like the way the art turned out on the uh, slip case more than the steel book. Steel book looks kind of weird. It's not very um, detailed. This looks a lot better, but uh, if I had to pick one, I'd go with this one. And here goes what we came for. Scarface Gold Edition. You guys got to pick this up, man. I wish they did a gold steel book for this. That would have been a dope idea. Some gold and black. I don't know why they didn't, but... This is the pickup this week. Definitely got to get it. Cannot wait to open it and watch it. And of course, everybody's asking me, yo, are you getting Stuber? Are you getting Stuber? Yeah, man, was this movie really that good and funny? Like, so many people ask me in the podcast, yo, what's up with Stuber? You getting Stuber? Talking about Stuber. You know, I always heard it was really good. So, man, y'all let me know. It's $25. Should I pick this up? And I'm just going to be totally honest with you guys, man. If they had a 4K of this, I think I would have bought it because I really wanted to see it. And my cousin did hit me up after he saw it and was like, yo, Crawl was dope. So I was intrigued. Like, it looks like one of those B-rated films that, you know, if you miss it, you miss it. You probably never watch it. But I was really intrigued by this. Anyways, let's head to store pickup so we can get this film and keep things moving along. On the real, though, you guys, I'm actually kind of getting tired of doing these vlogs. And that's just being for real. Like, I'm quite sure y'all done heard me on the uh, podcast tell y'all that I actually love doing that a lot more because it's more interactive. Y'all are, you know, giving me questions, commenting while I'm talking. But just being here doing this by myself, like, it gets kind of boring and I just don't be having that same energy to do it. Then, like, it's like, okay, I'm coming to Best Buy, but it's still a lot of the same stuff on shelves. The prices really ain't dropping like that. Like I showed y'all, they keep the same red savings flags out on the same stuff week by week. So it's kind of like, it's, it's, there's no thrill to it to me. May, like the, the weeks where there's many of releases like the Disney weeks and when Marvel movies come out and stuff like that, that's fun. But just a regular week like this where I'm not really interested but in one title, it's hard for me to get up and have the energy to really come and do this and try to put together a really good video for you guys. But I know y'all love them anyway. Y'all be like, yo, I've been waiting on a video from you. So I'd be like, all right, cool. Let me keep doing this. But to be honest, a lot of times I just don't be into it. It'd be y'all comments that be like, yo, we've been waiting for another video. When's the next video? Because I'm not a big Bluetooper. I'm not getting 1K views per film, per uh, vlog or whatever, like uh, Films at Home and them other guys. So it's kind of like, uh, it's still sitting stagnant. Yeah, my subscribers is going up, but my view count is still under like, I'm getting about maybe four, sub 500 views per video. So it's like, uh, and I ain't trying to like, get this editing equipment and stuff like that. Like, 
and spend about three hours trying to edit a video. So that's why I love the podcast. Podcast coming soon, matter of fact. Y'all hold on, let me get off of this. I'm trying to drive and it's raining. Guys, let's go ahead and finish this thing up. We are now back at the 4K corner. Let's buy out a new bag. Pretty neat. White bag. Yeah, cool, whatever. Um, unless y'all know what the pickup is this week, man. It is Scarface 4K. Like I said, I cannot wait. Oh, Ooh, that scared me, that sticker. The way it came off, I thought it was about to uh, mess up the slip. But there it is, you guys. Scarface 4K UHD. Cannot wait to get my hands on this. I have not seen any reviews for it yet, you guys. So I don't know what to expect, but I am definitely about to go ahead and open this up because I cannot wait to watch it. One of my favorite films. I'm not going to say it's the best film ever, but I really love it. Have held it on every format except a laser disc. I've never owned a laser disc player. Shout out to Briscoe 440. He had one, so I know what it was like from the few movies he would let us watch. Because, like I told y'all, he'll put a movie on for like 30 seconds and then be like, oh, let's watch this instead. But nonetheless, you guys, there goes front of the case. Take it to the spine. You got your Scarface Gold Edition lettering with your Ultra HD logo at the top. This does come with DT. SX no Dolby Vision no Dolby Atmos on this release you guys so hence why the price is probably $17.99 or $17.96 depending on where you got it from there is a digital code on the inside that's movies anywhere not sure of what it uh the redemption resolution but I don't use them anyway so that's going for sale pretty soon but there goes your disc you got your blu-ray disc right here and your 4K gold and black disc right there. So pretty bare bones. It is what it is. Like I said, I wish they would have came out with a steel book. I would have definitely hopped on it. We know if they did come with a steel book, it would have probably been $24.99. So that would have been a plus, And it was a great opportunity to do like maybe a gold and black or gold and red or something with some blood or something like that. Something cool could have came out of the steel book, but they decided against that one this week. So Nonetheless, that's the pickup, you guys. Like I said, hit up Effectus Clothing. Get your Tony Montana Scarface Inspiration in the Air t-shirt. I think it's still available. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I wish it was available. There was another one that they had as well, but it's not available anymore. But I wish I could get that one. But nonetheless, you guys, it's your boy 4K D Ray with another video. Going live today, probably right after I finish this. I don't know if I'm going to do the live and then drop this vid or... Drop the vid, then do the live, but I'm going live, man. I got to eat my food first. That's why I'm trying to hurry up and rush through this. I don't want them fries to get cold. Can't do the cold fries. So, nonetheless, man, thank you. It's been another vlog with your boy. Happy 4K Tuesday to you. Oh, wait. Today, Wednesday. I'm late. Anyway, come on.